In this edition of Sudoku Primer, we learn about twins and triplets in triplicate. This is puzzle 265, a difficult puzzle from Expert Sudoku by Nikolai Publishing. In this puzzle, we will find twins and triplets in three different places. After I explain what I mean by this, see if you can spot them. You'll probably spot some that I don't mention because they're really common. If you like these videos, please click on the red subscribe button below the video. And uh, after you've subscribed, you can click on the bell icon if you want to be notified of new videos coming out. And by the way, Thank you to those who had made comments uh, about the low volume in the last couple of videos. I've made some changes and I think the volume should be much better. Please let me know if it is or if it isn't. To start out, I have a good example of twins in triplicate or twins in three different places. Uh, there's a one and a three here, one and three here, so we know one and three has to be in this column here. Notice that the 1 and 3 is in the middle column here, in the right column here, and in the left column here. There's a 1 and a 3 here already, and a 1 there, so we can solve these two, these twins. All right, um, as, and that's what I mean by um, twins and triplets in triplicate. We find the same sets of twins in three different places in the same section. Now there's a double wall here in box five. Let's see what numbers we're missing. Six, eight, and nine. And we can solve them. There's a six and an eight. There's a six. And then we're only missing a two and a seven in this column, so we can fill those in. All right, and now we have one, two, three triplets here. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So we know that that two goes there. All right, now we have three numbers left, and they happen to be six, eight, and nine. And we have six, eight, and nine here. So we know these are six, eight, and nine also got eight here, eight here, and one of these is an eight, so we know that's the eight because we have eight, six, eight, and nine triplets there. We also have four, five, seven, four, five, seven, and four, five, seven. Now if you're um, trying to speed scan these um, puzzles and um, find numbers very quickly, that's a quick way of finding out what these three numbers are. If you notice, that these are 4, 5, and 7. These are 4, 5, and 7. Without even having to look at the other numbers, you know these are 4, 5, and 7. So that's one advantage to finding these um, in three different places. All right, we've got the 2 there. We've got an 8 here and an 8 here, so that's an 8 right there. And now let's look at this column right here. Let's see what we're missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven we're missing in this column. We have a six and a seven there, so we know these are four and five. So we can solve them. We can't solve the six and seven yet. All right, now we got a seven and a seven there, so that's a seven because of that seven there. And we've got a nine here and a nine here, so we know this is a nine right there because of that nine. All right, now let me show you something quite interesting here. We have one and three twins, one three twins here in triplicate. One three, one three, one three. So we know two of the three um, cells in this box, in this column here. It's one and three. All right, now look at, um, 
Let's see if we can find triplicates uh, with four, eight, 4, 5, and 8 here. We've got a 5 and an 8 here, so we know that that won't work. We, we know we can't find tri um, these triplets in three places. We also know that there's t two of the three numbers we already know about in this one, so we're only missing one number. So, and here and here we have a 4, so we know the 4 goes in here in this cell or this cell in box 3. Now if we um, try and figure out where that goes, if we think it might be here, well, we've got a 4 and a 5 here already, so if that's a 4, we have a 4 and a 5 here, and that would mean that we have a 4 and a 5 here, but we can't have a 4 and a 5 here because we've already got a 1 and a 3. There's only one place for one more number. There's only one cell left. So we know the 4 can't go there. We know it goes right here. Now there's other ways to find that 4, but I wanted to point out how you could find it using these uh, twins and triplets and triplicate. So Now we've got 1, 2, and 3 right here. So we're missing 4 six, seven, and nine in here. Let's see. Well, let's, let's look at that later. Let's look over here at, uh, um, let's see if we can find a f the fours down here. We've got a four here and a four here, so one of these is a four. Four here and four here, so one of these is a four. And using double row elimination, uh, that uh, technique and others are on sudokuprimer.com. We know four goes here and here or here and here or here. That eliminates these two rows. So we know the four has to be here or, or here. And we've already got a four there. So we know that's a four right there. All right. We also know that's a six and a nine because we've got eight, six, six, eight, nine, six, eight, nine. 689. So these are 5, 7. And we can solve them. Now let's see. We're missing, in this row, we're missing 5, 6, 8, and 9. Oh, look, we got a 6 and an 8 there and a 9, so we know that's a 5. 6, 8. 689 because we got 8689 eight, here and 69 okay so we can't solve any more of those let's see now we put a 7 here we've got a 7 here so one of these is a 7 we've got a 2 here so one of these has to be a 2 so one of these is a 2 so we have two 7 twins right there So let's see, we got a 3 here and a 3 here, so one of these is a 3, but these are two 7 twins, so we know that's a 3. And notice these two 7 twins, we don't really have two 7 twins in triplicate here, uh, at least not in the same column. We have 2 and 7 here, but they're not in this column. Um, so if we had 2 and 7 here and 2 and 7 here, we'd know we'd have 2 and 7 here using the triplicate technique. But in this case, we can just as easily find numbers by 2 and 7 here, 2 and 7 here. So we know the 7 has to be here and the 2 has to be there in this box. So we've got 2, 2, 2, 7, 7, 7. All right. Um, let's see, we're only missing two numbers here, 2, 3. 2 and 3. Got a 3 there, so we can put those in. All right, got a 2 there, so we can finish the 1, 2, 3s that we knew about here. All right, now let's see. We're missing 5 and 6 here. A 6 there, so that's a 5. All right, now we've got a 7 here, 
7 there. So we know that's a 7 right there. Yeah, we've got a 6 here too, so we know that's a 7. And that's a 6 right there. 7, 7, 7, okay. All right, we're missing 1 and 3 here, so we can fill those in. All right, now we've got, let's see, you got 4, 4, 4, 6, 6, 6. So these are 4, 6 twins, and these are 7, 9 twins. So we can solve the 7, 9 twins there. We have 2 and 8 left here, which we can't solve yet. A 6 and 8 there, and a 6 and 8 there. A 9 and 9, so that's a 9 right there. So 6, 8 there, and uh, 6, 8 here. All right. Got a f 5 here and a 5 here. A 5 there, so we know that's a 5. All right, now with these fives here, we can fill in the five there and the one three twins that we saw earlier. These are four and six there. These are six and nine, so we've got a six there now. Six, eight there. All right, now we're missing four and six there. We can fill those in. All right, now we're only missing a 9 in row 8, so we can put that in. And we're missing a 1 there. 1, 1, 1, so these are 3 and 4. So we can finish those. All right. Let's look at row one here. We're missing two, seven, and eight. Two, seven, and eight. Two, seven. Yeah, these are two, seven twins. There's a two and seven there, so that's an eight. So that is a six, and that's an eight, and that's a six right there. And now with our, <coughs> we have two, seven there. We still can't solve those. We have 2 and 8 there we can solve. And that's a 7 and that's a 2. That's it. Now like I said, um, you may have seen other twins or triplets in triplicate that I didn't even mention. But kind of keep those in mind as you're solving puzzles and see how helpful they are. They can be pretty helpful. Um, in a couple of ways they can be helpful. One is help you find numbers and um, another way because you can scan the puzzle much quicker when you when you see those uh, patterns. Well thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.